mental characteristics. So, in this session we will be learning about mental characteristics of adolescents, educational implications related to this. So, students at the end of this session you will be able to identify mental characteristics of adolescents, explain educational implications related to mental development. So, let us look at the mental characteristics at teenage. First point is generalization of the facts. At this stage students start generalizing the facts they start forming their opinion, they start experimenting on things, they start classifying and that is how they generalize their facts. At this stage the understanding level of adolescence increases. Here their understanding is not limited to their own self, they try to understand others opinion. So, egocentrism waves around this stage. Dealing with abstraction, earlier at the childhood stage they were limited to only concrete things, but at this stage they are able to deal with abstraction like they can understand symbols, they can understand abstract things, they can comprehend it and can extract meaning out of it. Another mental development which takes place among adolescents is development of memory. At this stage their memory grows tremendously. They can retain facts for a longer period of time. As compared to childhood even if you see you know the children they cannot uh, retain things for a longer time. That is why we have to do lot of drill and practice. But this is a stage where their memory expands they can retain facts for a longer time. Development of imagination. This is a stage where they are at the peak of their imagination. They daydream, they imagine things, they get into fantasy world and sometimes it leads to discoveries also. Problem solving. At this stage at their mental development has taken place they get into problem solving skills. They are not able to solve their own problem, they are not even the difficulty level of problem solving increases here. Communicate with others. This is a stage where they have lot of ideas, lot of thoughts and they want to exchange their thoughts and ideas with other. So that is why in order to exchange their ideas and thought they like to communicate with others. Ability to make decisions. At this stage they are not dependent on taking decision on their parents or teachers. They think that they can make decisions for themselves whether it is related to their life or their career. When we talk about intellectual development or cognitive development, moral development has a very strong relation with the cognitive development because as at this stage adolescents start thinking at their own even they start questioning the moral things, the ethics, the values, even they start understanding their own religion and they are in the conflict stage. At one time they are uh, you know they have a fear of God and on the other side they don't they challenge the old traditions values and ethics also. So, they simply do not accept whatever their parents tell them to follow. As we have seen at this stage mental abilities of such children are developing. So, what do they look for? They look for a conducive environment within the school. So, school curriculum should give enough opportunities where the mental development of adolescents can be taken care of. The another thing which we need to look at 
is the development of positive attitude towards life and to provide opportunities for creative development. So we as a teachers should encourage students for the divergent thinking. So different assignment, different activities should be encouraged to promote divergent thinking among students. At this stage, adolescents face different problems at individual level, even at educational level and last but not the least at vocational level too. So there is a need to conduct research to find out the list of developmental tasks which can be used to engage adolescents actively. Even we need to attend to the varying shades of differences to develop potentialities which means we have to take care of the individual differences to cater to their mental development. So as we have seen during this stage maximum cognitive development takes place. So as you must have heard about Piaget's theory of cognitive development he and he has also suggested many developmental tasks which should be undertaken by teachers so that the mental development of adolescents can take place properly. So we should start introducing research work, hypothesis testing, inductory deductive approach so that students start making experimentation and learn through divergent thinking. Thank you.